Let's try again. My iPad keeps telling me I don't have enough storage, and I know I should. Okay, this is my craft room, and we'll pick up where we left off in part one. This is part two. The top area is my cutting area here. I keep my Cricut tools here, markers and blades and overlays and other tools. My Stampin' Up! ink and refills are here. My kids got me a lot of these for my birthday and Mother's Day this year, and I kind of earned the rest from the party that they ordered off of. My Stampin' Up! daubers, my cutting mat. I keep my 12 by 24 mats under there so they don't curl up too much. There's my iPad, my medicines, paper towels, my Cricut. Back here, this container has my Cricut handbook and power, an extra power cord and USB cord. This one has shape cutters and blades, and this one has Fisker's temp cutting templates. My Cricut information, card making information, card maker magazine, different card making catalogs and magazines, information on my cuddle bug, crocheting, knitting supplies, and cross stitch supplies. Underneath I have some crafting magazine and books, some empty binders. This one down here, it's a fabric bin, it's full of frames and such. This is my tote that I can use for crops and keeps all my current projects in it because I don't really go out to crops. This up here is some X stuff that I need to finish cataloging. This one here has punches in it. Again, they're filed by number and cataloged. This little stand I got from Ikea and it has my Mod Podge supplies, adhesive refills and extra glue sticks, foam tape and some more refills, my paper shredder. And then this wait over here is where I do most of my crafting. Down we'll start down below. In the back in the calyx, which is hard to see. I keep my sewing machine and there's some more magazines. These a lot of this stuff is on organization and different catalogs. And down below I have some a bin with fabric and some with other sewing machine supplies, thread and stuff like that. I don't do much sewing. My sewing machine actually needs to be fixed. It keeps jamming up on me. That black container has a lot of empty storage, mainly those big 12 by 12 envelope type things that I want to keep because I probably will need them at some point. Just right now I'm not using them. This little cart here is a Totally Tiffany companion cart, which I got a really good deal on it because it didn't have the wheels. It does come with the top two little bins in it, which I painted purple, because purple's my favorite color. I keep all my adhesives that I like to do. These little drawers actually will slide all the way out, so I can actually take that up and put it on in my desk when I'm working if I want. My little Xyrons are here and some glue dots, and my big Xyrons down below. Then I have the IKEA Alex unit. The top drawer has pens. It's mainly acid-free ones like Sharpies and Crayola markers, that type of thing, which I use but not in scrapbooking. This has my glitter glue. The stickles are up front, and in the back I have some Recollections and other brands, which the ones in the back I don't really care for, and I'll probably be getting rid of because they, the color just doesn't come out very well. This one here has other coloring agents like my colored pencils, chalk, chalk markers, regular crayons, fabric markers... And then just some little, like, they're actually meant for cosmetics, but I use them sometimes with my inks. And this has my pocket letter and paper clip supplies, which I've just kind of gotten into. So I just kind of keep that separate right now. And this bottom drawer has my So Easy kit back there. These are duplicate pens, so I just threw them down here until the other ones run out of ink. My coffee filters, which I use when I use glitter and bowsing powder. My quilling kit. And then on this side, you notice I have two chairs. That's because I have a cat who always seems to be in one. Right now, she's not around. In the back 
way back there, there's those cardboard boxes. There's one for each side of the family that I keep older pictures in because eventually I want to do a heritage album for the families. So they're just kept back there. This has some, I'm not sure exactly what's in that one. I think it's just some projects that I want to do eventually but haven't done. Some extra bags for my garbage. This one has photos that I've already scrapbooked. They're duplicates, but my daughter scrapbooks also, and she hasn't gotten as far as I have, so they're there. This is my computer bag, and then this is more of my holding album stuff, photos and memorabilia, and they're, fo they're filed by year and then month. I'm behind on my scrapbooking, so, and then garbage, and then I keep my 12 by 24 Cricut paper here just because it's so big I did not have anywhere practical to keep it. Up top we'll start at this side keep a stereo up there so I can listen to the radio if I want. Usually I listen to the to my iPod but then up here I have my Stampin' Up! I only have a few sets. This is my bill paying center. I file my bills by the month they're due and the date so I can keep up to date my initials on stamps and some washi tape. This here is for my We Are Memory Keepers punch boards. I don't have that many of them yet, but they're on my wish list and I want to get them and I thought that was kind of the perfect place for them. My Martha Stewart scoreboard. These three things are all by Totally Tiffany. They're stash and store boxes. This one holds all my washi tape. It's the five drawer one. This one's called the Sparkle and Shine seven drawer case and it keeps my ink refills outside of Stampin' Up! Those ones are the stamp ones that are in the color category of Stampin' Up! are on top of that. Embossing powder, glitter, sprays, distress paint. This one's the die and platform case. I keep my thin metal dies here. I only have a couple sets, so the top one I keep in the cutting blade the cutting platforms that I use for the cuddle bug and the sandwich guide. And there's an extra set of plates back there, too. These ones are just empty containers. And this one's the 6x13 cutting plates. Down on this side, I keep my label, label maker, stapler, tape, my, digi my camera, and that one has extra labels for the label maker, though I think right now I'm just about out. Here I've got a little thing for pocket letters because I'm involved in some swaps so I keep my list of what ones are there and my current projects kind of completed ones that I need to finish up almost completed ones I need to finish up for mailing my Stampin' Up! catalogs and a little guide for what pictures I still need to print and this thing my sister just gave me and I'm trying it out for my crocodile corner choppers and the regular one that's just to hold my iPad this is a little turning tool caddy that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's got um, different scissors in it. I love my Tim Holtz scissors. Some pencils and a chalk marker that needs to be stored upright. My magnifying glass because my old eyes have trouble seeing. Um, different tools here. My ranger brushes and some palette knives. Calculator. And my Tim Holtz tools. There's a distressor there. Uh, the little, I'm not sure, I can't remember what it's called. It's got like the long, sharp needle type punch thing and the craft, the retractable craft knife. There's some scrap paper to write on. My ATG gun and the holder my father in law made. My marker case that my father in law made that I put my mar some of my markers in. Um, desk lamp. This is a pen and ink palace, also by Totally Tiffany. It comes in white. I painted it purple. I keep some of my big stamp pads and cleaning pads that don't fit. The few Copics I own are there, and my fim and a couple of Tim Holtz distress markers. And these ones are erasable pens. And up top, I have a little one that I write a happy mail on. I use that in my pocket letters. This is my created by stamp and my initials. I stamp my back on my cards with those. Post-it note dispenser, tape, paper clips, some miscellaneous stuff up here. I have a couple curtain rods hung up that I have my templates hung on, my rulers and my decorative scissors. 
under on my desk pad I keep a three month calendar that marks birthdays and anniversaries that I want to make cards for and then some different card making sizes and matting suggestions there. Then over here is my da uh, another desk that I keep my scrap rack on. I'll get to that in a minute. The drawers here mainly carry like office supplies. So here I have a little section of for bills that like credit cards and bank and bill, bank things that I just keep my receipts in until I balance them. And then once I balance them, I just staple all of it to the account and file them away. This has some various office supplies in it. And down here I have some candles and my exercise balls for my hands because I have some issues in my hands at times and some tools. Down here is my cataloging station. I keep extra page protectors and pocket pages there that I use in the pocket letters and I also use them in my catalog process. Extra scrap rack pages. I think there's some empty pages there for pocket for paper pockets and such like that. Up top here I keep my little baggies for storing stuff. My fuse tool. My We Are Memory Keepers. The bottom one is stuff I borrowed from my sister that I didn't want to mix into my inventory. There's some Dollar Tree cutting mats here that I use for either inking or as dividers between my paper and my scrap rack. And that's my purge box there that has the big P on it. This has some acetate from packaging in it. These are some extra spinders for the scrap rack. These are little dividers for the white recollections drawers. And this has some wooden block cubes and some extra things to hang on my um, pegboard. This here is for cataloging. There's some extra rings for hanging templates. The stamp that I use to stamp out my color samples and my color catalog. I keep an extra black one here for doing my stamp representations in my catalog. And these have little... um like cards that fit in the pockets of the baseball card thing so that's how I kind of do my catalog is on that type if the, the stuff fits. This drawer just has some markers and various office supplies and um, highlighters and these are like little manual scale type things you can tell whether something's a pound, two pounds or three pounds. And then probably my favorite piece in my room is my scrap wrap. This is a two-base scrap rack, and it's done by the four-section system, of course. It's Tiffany's recommended way, and she's the maker of the scrap rack, to Tiffany Spaulding. Totally Tiffany. Starts out with the alphanumeric. She recommends keeping your alphabets kind of by size. I kind of do them by size and color. At the end of the alphanumeric, I have a words of wisdom that I just keep kind of non-themed words. And, and then it's themes A to Z. And it starts with animals and works its way back to, I think, Wizard of Oz is the last one. My daughter, my oldest daughter is a big Wizard of Oz fan. So. And then this starts my calendar section. I only keep one spinder of the calendar in here. And right now it's got kind of summer and fall in it. It just got too full, so I had to take some things out, and I figured it was just easier just to put the current one I'm working on up here, and then the rainbow section in Roy B. Give, Roy, Roy G. Biv order, sorry. And then I put my neutrals at the back, and my multis. And that's my craft room tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe sometime if I get a regular camera, I'll try to get it all recorded on one thing and redo it. Thank you.